hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video okay get ready for a whole lot of content this week so turn your post notifications on if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel my name is karina and i would absolutely love it if you subscribe and join our beautiful youtube family i know we're in a different setting again we're back in my room and that's because downstairs where i normally film the lighting situation is just not working out i mean my videos are looking super yellow or greenish and i really just need to revamp the entire lighting situation before i can actually film on there because i want to give you guys the best quality videos and i feel like right now with natural lighting it looks a lot better than what was happening in my previous two videos so we're back in the room filming again until i can get my filming set up downstairs situated but I am back to talk about some amazing fragrances that I have just been obsessed with so if you love this style of content definitely stay tuned and let's just jump right into this so if there is one niche house that is really really intriguing me that is yours off like I have been watching so many different reviews, reading up comments on Fragrantica and just engaging with people that already have a ton of fragrances from that house and they are really highly spoken of. The scents, the quality, the presentation and my first fragrance from that house was um, Lira from the Casa Morati uh, lineup. So they do have, I believe, two lines, like their regular line and this or maybe three. I'm not 100% sure, but they have a ton of different fragrances to select from. I've already spoken on Lyra and I absolutely love this one. Like if you're a lover of gourmand fragrances without smelling like actual food, this is a stunning fragrance. It's very like vanilla, a little bit citrus. Oh my God, it's so good. It smells like a vanilla cookie with a bit of a zesty moment in there also it's so so beautiful love this one um definitely one that i prefer when it's a little bit cooler but i can still kind of pull it off in warmer days but i definitely prefer for cooler months now i read about this other one that i thought would be perfection for summertime now that it's getting a lot warmer here in canada finally <laughs> Um, so I got myself a sample first. I was a smart girl. Okay. I got myself a sample first. And as soon as I sprayed that sample, I was like, I need the entire bottle. So the fragrance that I am talking about is still from the Casa Morati line. And I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Do not kill me here. You can educate me. Okay. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong or right, but be respectful, please. But, um, the one that I went ahead and got was Dama Bianca oh honey first of all i love the name it just sounds so good but i believe it translates to the white lady okay <laughs> so here is that box the way that it comes is really pretty uh not too over the top but you have this very large box actually it's quite big and i love the artwork on it and one thing that i absolutely adore from this lineup is that they always give you the storyline of the fragrance on the box and you know me i love when fragrances take me on a journey there is a moment i'm not just all about the notes i want to feel something i want like a story behind my fragrances and that's why when i try to describe the fragrances to you guys i give you guys a little scenario maybe a personality maybe a location so you can really get the essence and the vibe of the fragrance so i love that they give you a little bit of a story on the box here and this is a really sturdy box by the way and then when you open it up you have the fragrance in here so that is the presentation which i do really really um enjoy i always get my niche fragrances from twisted lily you guys know that i've partnered with them and i do have a discount code which is karina 10 you can get 10 percent off all of your niche fragrances which is very rare for any niche fragrance to have a discount so 
take advantage of that if you're eyeing any um niche fragrance check out their website they have a ton to select from i mean they have mfk they have yours off they have a bunch so check them out and they recently added creed so creed is on there now honey so take advantage and get your discount i will link everything down below but this is the one that i went ahead and got and she is gorgeous so the bottle i actually prefer over lira okay and you guys probably know why lira is definitely she's out there she's a little she's a little doing doing the most okay and not doing the most in my kind of way um i like the shape of the bottle and i love the cap but this picture here is not it's not it's not you know it's not vibing for me to be totally honest maybe if the bottle was just like this i'd be like oh okay but yeah this is lira and then we have dama bianca and i just love this um frosted glass bottle with the shape it looks a lot more elevated sophisticated a little bit more elegant it looks prettier on my vanity <laughs> I'm a snob when it comes to packaging and presentation. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I really, really love this bottle. And I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up. Look at that. I love the frosted look. They still have a little image over here. But I'm loving the color scheme. Everything is cohesive and just looks really pretty. We have the tassel here, which is white. The gold cap. And um, it just looks a little more aesthetically pleasing if you will but this is dama bianca now this one over here oh my god oh my god let me spray it up in the air let me spray it mm, mm, mm. honey if you love your vanilla fragrances you are going to adore dama bianca she's definitely a very creamy vanilla like it's an overdose of vanilla but in the most creamy way it smells like authentic vanilla it doesn't smell artificial to me and i love that there is a balance with this very citrusy um tone of this fragrance it's so beautiful now when i describe this fragrance it's very similar to Lyra, the, the description of them, but the difference is, is that Lyra is a lot more gourmand and a lot more sweet than Dama Bianca. Definitely a lot more sweet. Think of Lyra like a very deep vanilla cookie, like a really rich vanilla cookie with a lot of brown sugar in there. But then Dama Bianca is this very light airy dessert very light not too dense not too heavy very light oh it's so beautiful on the skin and this one is a gorgeous vanilla based fragrance for the hotter days and that's why i gravitate to, towards this one because i do find that lira works a little bit better for the cooler months you can still pull it off during the summer but i find the cooler months um this just smells a lot better like it sits close it it sits better on the skin projects a little bit louder dama bianca is your basically summer version of lira i am so in love with this one and i'm so happy to say this is one of the fragrances one of the niche fragrances that my husband actually enjoys on me like every time i wear dama bianca he will compliment me he would ask Mm, you smell good. Oh, what are you wearing? Because it's just so suave. I still find that this fragrance projects beautifully, uh, especially in the first couple of hours. And then it will clo go closer to the skin, but it still lingers throughout the entire day. And I can still smell it on myself. It's not one of those fragrances like a lot of the MFK fragrances where you just get used to it that you don't smell it. This one, I can smell it on myself. And I love that. It's so beautiful and i like that it's quite approachable it's not a very heavy complex kind of fragrance and when it comes to niche fragrances a lot of people are kind of scared or intimidated because tons and tons of niche fragrances can be very complex very very complex and hard to kind of understand it so for those of you who find notes important to me when i smell this fragrance let's just do the first initial ooh. 
Did you see that atomizer? Let me show you guys the atomizer. Beautiful mist. Beautiful mist. Now, the opening for me, you get a lot of a citrus tone. I believe it's the lime in the opening. So it smells quite fruity in the opening, but a very fresh kind of burst of freshness that you're going to get when you first open this fragrance. And then once it starts to dry down, you will pick up the floral tones. I believe there's like lilac, jasmine, iris in here and it becomes a little bit powdery it's a very smooth silky powdery vibe that you're going to get from this it's not overwhelming it's not too much and it doesn't turn this fragrance vintage to me whatsoever but it definitely has a bit of a silky powdery touch and then in the dry down there are a couple of different notes there's some woody notes i believe there's white musk there's vanilla but ultimately, when I smell this fragrance, I still get the aspects of the floral tone. So I still get quite a bit of that jasmine and that iris in there. The vanilla is very heavy. It's, it's there. You're going to pick it up, but it's a really beautiful vanilla tone. And the white musk is quite prominent in the dry down for me. You still get this freshness throughout the entire fragrance. So like that lime that was in there, it still continues throughout the entire fragrance. So it really balances off all of the other notes in there. So it makes for a really beautiful vanilla based fragrance. Think of like Ani from Nishani. It's kind of like going towards that realm, but not as, I want to say as like, mm, how can I put this? This one is a little bit more creamy than that version it's a lot more it's gonna like it, it feels like you are being wrapped by this fragrance it's very cozy very comforting it's just stunning honestly it is a stunning fragrance again you can always get a sample before trying out the actual full-size bottle i will link down below the full-size bottle and a sample that you can order but i am in love like I am so in love it smells feminine beautiful vanilla based fragrance with a nice fresh tone when I wear this outside I just feel amazing and I love that with this fragrance I can dress it up but I can also wear it quite casually and I feel really comfortable and I feel comfortable being around people with this fragrance it's not obnoxious and overly loud which some of my niche fragrances can be so it's reserved for certain occasions this one i feel like i can wear for a lot of different occasions it is just a beauty of a fragrance and i'm so glad that i have it in my collection that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today leave your comments down below and let me know what are your thoughts on these fragrances and also from the house of jersoff what is your favorite fragrance what do i need to try out next because I'm pretty blown away and I have been just loving both of these fragrances. So thank you for watching again and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!